Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ankita, and I have a confession to make. I take my sight for granted. The ability to see the world around us is something most of us have had since we can remember. But it is only when our eyes start to fail that we realize how important they are and how dependent we're on them, because our eyes are remarkable. We are constantly exposed to the incredibly damaging UV rays of the sun, yet most of us continue to see perfectly well without many problems. This is because our eyes have high levels of antioxidants, such as glutathione. Glutathione protects our cells from damage and keeps them healthy. But as we grow older, levels of glutathione start to fall, especially in the lens of our eyes. This, damage, this then leads to damage, which is seen as a cataract. Now, age-related cataracts are the leading cause of blindness worldwide, and unfortunately, most of us will develop them. It occurs when that transparent lens becomes cloudy over time, just like the clear part of an egg becomes white when cooked. So imagine looking through a dirty, smudged window, because that is how people with cataracts see the world all the time. And the only treatment for this debilitating disease is cataract surgery, to remove that cloudy lens. Now, the surgery itself is one of the safest and most common surgical procedures. However, an interesting trend has been spotted. People who've had cataract surgery develop further eye diseases that can affect tissues like the cornea and the trabecular meshwork, or TM for short. So why do these tissues become more susceptible to developing the disease when you remove a cataractic lens? Why is this continued deterioration of tissues occurring? Our theory is that these complications, these secondary eye diseases, arise because of lens removal. Now the lens has the highest concentration of glutathione of all the tissues. So I aim to investigate whether the lens is actually a reservoir of glutathione, pumping it out to tissues like the cornea and the TM to keep them healthy and functioning well. This implies that when the lens is removed, we inadvertently reduce glutathione availability to these tissues which in turn makes them more vulnerable to damage and diseases that could leave you completely blind. So how do we stop this from happening? One solution apparent from my thesis could be glutathione eye drops, perhaps, administered after cataract surgery. This would restore glutathione levels in the eye and maintain the health of these tissues. It would also reduce the likelihood of those secondary diseases, meaning you could retain your sight for longer. And that's why my thesis could one day save your sight. Thank you.